I may have just found the best open source text-to-speech model out there, introducing Amphion, a free method to generate audio, music, and speech with its toolkit. Amphion is a toolkit that can speak, make sounds, and sing. Enjoy it. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is the true capability of Amphion. Now, just keep in mind that its purpose is to support reproducible research and help junior researchers as well as engineers get started in the field of audio, music, and speech. This is something that is very amazing as it's able to do various different things in generation of audio as it can generate audios for sounds, music, as well as for speech. This is something similar to something that we covered on this channel such as Bark. This was a TTS model that we've covered and it had very amazing capabilities in generating audio. In this case, it's very similar to Amphion and it's something that we're going to showcase throughout today's video. It's another alternative for Bark, for example, as this is a toolkit that is open sourced. It's completely free and you can start generating various different types of audios. This is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as you explore how you can get started with Amphion as well as showcase some of the true capabilities about it. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business, or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Amphion. This is a toolkit that helps you create various different types of audios, whether that's sound, music, as well as speeches. It's made to basically support research projects that can easily be replicated. It's something that will make it super helpful for new researchers, as well as new users who are exploring audio, music, and speech generation. Now, Amphion is quite unique because it's something that provides visual representation of classic models and structures, which is something that I'll explain as you go further into the video. This is something that can be practically useful for those who are basically starting out and want a clear understanding of how music is generated using AI. Now, the main goal of Amphion, as stated on their GitHub repo, is that it's a platform for studying how any kind of input can be turned into audio. It's not just for generating uh, certain types of audios, it's also helping you understand how it can generate it so that you can use it in other cases. It's built to handle various different types of tasks, such as text-to-speech. This is something that is currently supported. You have singing voice synthesis, which is currently in development. You have voice uh, conversions, which is also currently in development. Singing voice conversion is something that's actually supported with Amphion. You have text to audio as well as text to music. Now they're currently adding other methods, which is something that they're gonna release as time goes. And this is a great way for you to study and get access to these generations for these various different types of audios. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that with the generation, Amphion also comes with various different types of vocoders as well as different types of evaluation metrics now a vocoder is something that is crucial for creating like different types of audio signals and this is something that shows this it ensures various different types of quality outputs as well as evaluation metrics that play a vital role in maintaining a consistent standard of the generation of the audio that you want to create in this case you can give it various different types of test descriptions lyrics notes speech and an amphion will use this high quality vocoder which is the component for creating top-notch audio signals and then you get this output this is the basic framework that they've used to basically generate various different types of audios using AI. 
Now here's a table that shows all the open source toolkits related to audio generation. We can see that all of these different types of toolkits are compared with different categories. We have audio, music and singing, speech and visualization. Visualization is a new feature that is developed with Amphion and it's the only one that has this feature in terms of this category being ticked on. Now we have speech being like basically prevalent with all of these other types of toolkits, most of them. We know that Bark is possibly the best generation for audio. It's able to do everything as Amphion is able to do. And this is why I really wanted to cover Amphion because it's a model that's capable of doing various different things that Bark is able to do. Now Bark is really, really good, but in terms of generation, it could be a little off at certain times due to hallucination. This is why I wanted to take a look at Amphion, which is another alternative. It's a substitute in a way that can do various different things that Bark can't do. In this case, you have visualization. Now, this is something that wasn't actually prevalent in the audio generation field. There wasn't models that can actually do this. And now we have something that can actually generate visualization with audio. This is something that many of these models tried to do, but actually failed. And this is where we see Amphion becoming a leader in this field to generate more capabilities compared to these other toolkits. Now, before we go more into the technical, I want to showcase how you can actually get started for the people who want to start using this. Now, you can actually do this through Hugging Face. There's spaces that they've developed for four different types of generation of audio. You have text-to-speech, text-to-audio, you have natural speech, as well as singing voice conversion. Now, each of these types of spaces have their own specific generation type. In this case, you can do various different things with all of these different spaces. So I recommend that you actually try it out, see how it is. And if you like it, you can start generating it on your local host afterwards by downloading the model, which is something that I'll showcase later on. This is something that's fairly easy. There's two ways to install this locally. You can definitely go onto the GitHub repo. They have an installation guide as to how you can do this. If you go down a little bit more, you can first have to start off by cloning this repository. But before you actually do that, you need to make sure that you have this application called Git. Once you have this application called Git, you're going to be able to clone the repository. This is by going into your command prompt. Once you are over here, you simply type in Git clone and paste the link for the repo. So in this case, we already have Git clone in the copy command. Click enter and this will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. This might take a couple of minutes. Once this is done, we can then move on to the next step. This is where you're gonna to need to create a Python environment. This will require you to have Conda. So if you do not have Conda, you can simply download it. It's very easy to do so, but you simply just copy this, paste this into your command prompt, create the Conda environment for Amphion. Once the environment is created, you can then launch and activate Amphim or Amphimian, or sorry, not Amphimian, Amphion. And once that is activated, you can install the packages that are needed for the environment and start running it. Now they have detailed instructions for different types of tasks by using Python. In this case, you can open up Visual Studio Code and start generating text-to-speech. You can start generating audio for singing or yeah, singing voice conversions, text-to-audio and voice encoders. For example, if you click on text-to-speech, it will give you a detailed instruction as to how you can set this up once this loads up. And if we go down, it's able to show you a beginner recipe to demonstrate how you can start like basically using the Amphion text-to-speech recipe on with Python on your local host. It's a detailed instruction as to how you can do this. It gives you the code as well as how you can actually start doing this. In my opinion, there's an easier way to do this, which I'll showcase in the next step of the video. But this is something for that I wanted to just demonstrate for the people who wanted to actually have this installed locally. There's also different types of data sets that you can install. So make sure you check that out before you move on to this step. But it's fairly easy. Once you have this downloaded, you can then click by just typing in yes to proceed the installation. Once the installation is done, you simply just need to activate the Amphion environment and then paste this link in and you're able to start using it by following the next instructions with each of these models. But in the case that I'm going to be showing you now to install this locally, you're going to need Pinocchio, which I'll showcase in the next step of the video. Now, another method to install this is using Text Generation Web UI. Now, I have this tutorial up on my channel, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This will actually help you install it 
with a one click installer once you have it loaded up you simply just need to have all the models ready you simply take whatever model that you want to work with in this case you have the text the audio model you copy the model card go to text generation web ui once you have it loaded up with pinocchio once you have it loaded up you simply go to the model go download the model custom model or Laura. you download the model you then load the model up and then you can start chatting with it and start having it generate various different types of text-to-speech audio. That's as easy as that. This is a second method to install and use Amphion. Now, obviously, the best method right now for you, if you want to test it out, is obviously play around with the spaces so you can get a better idea as to how you can generate various different things. This is something that we're going to take a look at in the next step of the video. Now, they also have a huge directory as to like a repo on various different demos. You can see that this is the text to speech demo for Amphion, Amphion, sorry, and we can see that. It's able to generate various different types of things. In this case, it's comparing all the other types of toolkits, for example, tortoise. Now, in this case, it, it gives it a text and it generates the text for you. So I'm just going to lower the volume down a little bit. And we're going to compare these two. And now I'm going to just have it generate or play this audio. Does right a over. tiny particle of the consecrated braid contain all the body and blood of Jesus Christ or a part only totally of the body and blood? Does a tiny now this was generated using Amphion. Now let's see how Tortoise does it. The consecrated bread contain all the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Now we can see that both of them do a really good job. Amphion has a different type of accent. Now this is something that you can set afterwards. You can have it generated once again to set to a different type of accent. Now there's various different types of examples. So if you're interested in this, definitely recommend that you play through all of them. Now they have a huge repo on all of these different types of demos for each of the audio generation. Now this is something that you can definitely check, take a look at on the repo. You simply just need to click on all these different types of audio generations. Now, if you want to check out demos for text to speech, you simply click on it and go to the demo directory. You can also do the same thing for vocoder as well as singing voice conversion. And that's basically it for the demos as well as installation. Now, let's actually take a look at some of these other demos on Hugging Face Spaces. So for this demo, I'm playing around with MVN's text to audio Hugging Face Spaces. I gave it a prompt, make it generate an audio for cars crossing a road. Now, let's see how good it does. Now, in my opinion, it's not the best generation out there in this prompt that I gave it, but somewhat good. It kind of accurately gives you that generation. It's very muffled and it's not the best quality. Now, obviously, as I mentioned at the start, this is something that is in works. It's in development and it will continuously get better as they keep on editing and making it better. Now, if you look at other different types of generation methods, they have done a great job in other demos. So don't just think like it's bad just because of this demo that I showcased. There's various other types of demos that have been able to generate really, really good types of gen audios with the prompts that they give it. This is something that I recommend that you check out. This is a really good alternative to Bark, for example. This is a great way for you to use their TTS to help generate various different types of things. I'll leave all the links in the description below. For example, the research papers, so you can get more information on this, as well as the hugging space spaces so that you can play around with the various different types of spaces they have. Now, with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. If you guys haven't already, I'm going to be posting the latest AI news over here. So definitely recommend that you check this out. If you guys want to join our private Discord, I highly recommend that you check out the Patreon link in the description below. But with that thought, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.